Hi, Super Dan here. Following is a clip of one of the instructors at the A to Z La Can Sampu Super 70 Seminar Birthday Bash. This one is featuring Datu Kelly Warden. All right, man, so we're gonna work a little bit uh, on the foot trapping, and I'll initiate it all through one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, something like that. Okay. So first, first point of is engagement. I could be here and I'm just going into a front kick. What I'm going to do is draw my outside attachment to the bicep elbow junction. Step forward with that same foot. Now as I do this, I'm retracting this. So if you see this, it's just this. You see. And there's a disengage, so I'm going here. If his left punch comes, I'm going like that, redirecting it and coming in here. Easily carry that, carry by there, knee spike here, and drop that elbow, outward wrist. Uh, it's your flavor of the month. My focus right now is just giving you these 12 foot traps. Okay? And one, right to left, two, left to right. Three, right to right, I touch the same side shoulder, hold that. And left to left. Now I'm going to step in behind and do a sanchin stance. Sanchin meaning turn toe or a bow stance into this position. See the pickups that you come out of as far as where you're at on your attachment. Okay. Next one I'm going to do a wipe and let that... Sweep strike in. It could be a knee up if I want. Turn into a kick out. Okay, so from this one, we usually go to the opposing side. So we separate and isolate them. Pop, maybe there, drive, rotate, and here. Or we just cut through the, the quick, wipe, hit, load up, step out. So I'm using clothing. If you look at that, this is really just an inside block and attachment. And rear leg, calf to shin is, is the point of attachment. Then I step to toe. So kind of a back stance, and I want to I want to break his balance. I don't necessarily have to throw him. I like the guys that go, how you trade is how you'll fight. Yeah, and he ain't fighting or training tomorrow if I keep the foot trap on him and douche him and throw him into the floor, right? So... Common courtesy, we have a kind of a rule of thumb here is we all have to go to work tomorrow because we try to pay the bills and our old lady just lets us come to class so that uh, we let all that aggression and excessive energy out, okay? Now we're going to go to the ankle and what I do is I call this the gas pedal, but you can see it's throttling up on on the ankle to break his balance straight off. Still kind of a back stance so I can exit, right? Now I'm gonna go from the kick out into a horse stance. So now I'm tighter inside. This could be definitely into an arm bar or wherever I wanna go from there. It's a bump into a sweep right there. Okay, opposite side, I wipe, hit, drive that knee up, kick that leg out, step to the toe, Pull him back, kick that leg out, step to the gas pedal or the ankle, kick that leg out. I also want to maintain his balance, that's why I'm staying attached to it. Now step to the horse. And hopefully you can see all those and then initiate them. Really important when you're uh, messing with the low base or the low art that you don't keep that foot pinned and that you stabilize his balance because ideally the goal is to bounce him off a wall or off a car you know as you close on this guy boom you're hitting him moving him and I'm just going to that foot trap so as I throw him down I'm trying to get in here look this is a drop right into here there's my punch to the face you know and maybe a nut shot as he kicks I'm looking for the hook and the catch, and then moving that into a lock, or a, I don't look for the tap. I go into here and get that, uh, and then just 
surge and let it go. There's no real reason for me to go, okay, tap. You know, I try to get to tap when I'm doing the co-ed naked samba. Other than that, I'm a little bit easier on my students. Give it a try.